Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Travis, and yes, I converted my 32 gallon BioCube to a freshwater planted tank. We'll talk about the entire setup here in this video, and actually I just finished it a couple hours ago. So I figured I'd do a quick video talking about it, and we'll come back in a few months and see how it's grown in. And uh, yeah, so used to be the quarantine tank. Let's talk about that first. Why did I decide to stop quarantine coral and go to freshwater planted tank instead? Well, I'm done with the overhaul on the 300, so I don't really have a need to bring in any more corals. And since my grow out tanks are pretty much full as is, I don't have the room to be bringing in other colonies or coral frags growing into colonies. It's just not an option with the space that I currently have. So yeah, I just decided to, instead of having to be an empty tank or an enemy tank or some other saltwater tank, I figured I'd go ahead and just convert it to a freshwater and uh, see what it turns into. I like the contrast between freshwater and saltwater. And as you guys know, I started in freshwater back when I was a teenager and being what, 32 or 33 now, one of the two. Um, yeah, I, I still love freshwater, it's still a big part of my life. I'm just glad that I can finally bring a tank downstairs. And yeah, speaking of freshwater tanks, I have pretty much the same exact setup but smaller upstairs in the kitchen. That's where I got the fish, the plants uh, from, and I actually converted some of the substrate over from that one and added some to it. So. Yeah, I love planted tanks, so we're going to have another one here in the fish room just kind of chilling out and doing its whole thing. It's a pretty low maintenance, just going to top off, maybe do a water change here and there, but honestly, these freshwater tanks just take care of themselves, you don't really have to do much. So when it comes to equipment, I do have the freshwater version of the AI Prime HD, and uh, it's pretty good. I like it. I had an issue with the connectability. It was having a problem with my Android phone. I tried two different phones. It didn't work. So I actually had to use my Android tablet and finally got it to work. Same thing with the Nero 5. So I don't know what that's about. It might just be a glitch with my phones, but two phones having the same problem. Let me know if you guys had an issue with that, but finally got the light to work. It's at 100% pretty much on everything, but the green and the red and uh, yeah. So it's plant spectrum. It's going to do its thing. Uh, again, I just put these plants in, so I don't know how the growth is going to be with this light, but it seems to be reaching the bottom pretty well. And, uh, you know, it's penetrating the sub substrate pretty good. You can see over here, we're getting some good light penetration, so it should be all right. Now, I do have the uh, grass on the front here, which requires a little bit more light to grow efficiently, so that's a good spot. We'll see what it turns into. Um, when it comes to what I am using the spider wood, I picked this stuff up actually from Amazon. It's just a random piece, and I kind of just threw it out there. It was relatively cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks, and it turned out to be a pretty good one. So I'm happy about that. The rocks I actually got from the gully out back. There's a ton of this, like, it's not slate, it's more of a, I don't know, limestone or something. But it's uh, it's kind of the same stuff I have upstairs. I let it soak for a few days and it seems to be good. Uh, no issues. And again, the fish have only been there for a little while, so we'll see, but the rock is pretty clean. There's no chemicals sprayed out back. There's no issues with that, so the rock should be pretty good. I was actually going to grab some wood from out back and soak it and go through the whole process, but I was like, nah, I'll just use the rocks because they're safer and uh you know the you can't really absorb too much into the rocks but the wood could have had sprayed from the field and all that stuff so i didn't want to take the risk i just decided to buy the wood offline and it was fine i do have a lot of jungle valve which uh, it's just one of those themes I, I really like the jungle valve uh, in my planted tanks and i went ahead and put it back behind the log so it will of course fill up everything and then send its runners all over the tank i'll have to keep those in check but uh, i really really like this stuff especially when it gets up top here and to think that these long long pieces I mean, these, these are this high already. All of those were in a small little tank. I mean, it just grows so fast, and um, it's just crazy how much I can actually grow in a little space. But yeah, I can brought a bunch of that over. It's pretty good. This power head's not plugged in yet. It's just the one I usually keep in my frag tanks. I have to uh, get in a, in a, another outlet or an expanded, uh, what the heck of it, power strip so I can have an extra plug for that. Um, as as for uh, filtration, we just have some mechanical sponge here, mechanical filtration sponge. I gotta change it out, as you can see it's pretty dirty. We have our ATO, which is our micro ATO. Same thing, um, it's gotta evaporate some of the water because you can see the line's pretty high. I uh, added the rock and all that stuff. Of course, the water level went up, so that will eventually come down. A regular heater in the back, keeping it at about 77 degrees, roughly. I'm gonna have to check on my hand and to see exactly what it's at, but usually close to room temperature. I don't really mess with it too much. Uh, again, it's fresh water. And that's about it for filtration. No mechanical in the back, just that, uh, or no biological or anything or mechanical extra than what you see here with the sponge. It's a pretty basic setup. Uh, down here, we have uh, just a generic five-gallon ATO bucket. That is, ooh, ooh, you're gonna un, I don't know how to fix that. 
There we go, so that's good. There we go. Just a five gallon ATO container, and then of course the power strip with all the jib jabs and everything plugged in. Again, need a bigger one so I can, it's really annoying how it's doing that, um, add that power head. But yeah, it's pretty basic setup. The substrate is the Fluval uh, planted substrate, little mini beads, you can call it that. And uh, this, I usually use just miracle Grow potting soil mix, and I kind of do a natural substrate that way, but this is pretty easy. I don't mind, especially when it comes to ripping the roots out when this stuff starts to expand. It's easy to get in there with a pair of scissors and just kind of cut the roots to keep it in check. So substrate's fine, it provides the nutrients that it needs, and most likely I won't have to dose anything. It's just gonna kind of do its own thing, which is nice. But yeah, so that's the first look at the planted tank. Again, it's really nice to have it with all the blue that we have over here. And uh, tomorrow we'll do a complete update on the 300. Pretty excited to show you guys, uh, well, the disaster that it became. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not that bad, but it is something that you guys will see the difference right away, for sure. But anyway, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, let me know, and I'll see you later. Peace.